Greetings, everyone. It's the True Blue Rhyme. Back, uh, let me cut this down. The new video here. And, uh, you know what, let me say, the reason oftentimes I do these videos instead of sitting in my desk, um, you know, as you've seen me in suit and ties and whatnot, is that when I have um, an idea or something that I feel that is relevant, um, I can go ahead and actually make the video right then and there in the car. So that's why uh, a lot of times or a good portion of the times you'll see me making these in the car. But anyway, uh, what I wanted to, to say real briefly, uh, I just happened to be listening to the radio, uh, to one of the shows uh, occasionally that I frequent as a sports talk uh, listener. One of the callers said something, and I thought it was a microcosm of a larger problem. When the caller said that the athletes are the role models for our children. And even though that may be the way it is for a lot of people, um, let me just say how wrong that is. I, I definitely have to agree with Charles Barkley. Uh, was it back in 92 or 93? Um, we did that commercial. I'm not a role model. If you haven't seen it, uh, if you're kind of younger, uh, YouTube it. It's, you can you can uh, see it. But anyway, in the uh, the commercial, he basically says that just because I can dunk a basketball doesn't mean I should raise your children, and that caused a lot of issues with people because oh I can't believe you said that. Yeah, but it's the absolute truth. You know what, these, and, and this is not me bashing famous people, per se. But what this is, is a dose of reality. A dose of truth, if you will. The fact that because these people are, in some manner, put on a pedestal by society, that somehow... That that's what's pushed or what people should emulate to, to be that lifestyle or whatever it is that they have. And I have to be honest, and when I have children, I don't have any, but I can assure you the last person that I want to be their role model is some doggone athlete or entertainer or actor or actress, okay? Never mind for the fact that most of us who knows what goes on in the entertainment industry, that is not even that's only the half of it but the fact is they can't that's not something that they can see every day you know the real role models and if they're not you know parents or whatever just honorable men and women you know it doesn't have to be business leaders or community leaders or whatever it could just be an honorable man who goes to work every day and does what he can to provide for his family it could be that honorable woman who is you know the epitome of all the things right of the feminine principle has and has truly ascended into the role of womanhood you know that those are the, what should be the bastion of role models for people period but because they're put out there and, and we've gotten lazy as a society, it's easy to pawn that responsibility off on people that they can't touch or, or talk to or don't really have that type of impact. Now, with that being said, are there certain things, if I had a son or a daughter, and and this is, and, and like I said, not all athletes are bad, but I'm just using a generalization to, to paint the picture here, the overall picture of what I'm trying to say. From an athletic standpoint, if they're having success or if they're doing things in the right way, would I want my child to take that particular uh, portion and, and, and follow that example in that particular avenue? Absolutely. But I don't want, I wouldn't want them to look to this person as, as, as they're trying to get, I don't want to say approval or or, or that they're trying to, to live up to, to some type of, of standard when the only real standard 
that we need to abide by and try to live up to is 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 building up ourselves and our family institutions and communities as best as possible in doing the most conscious good in doing the least amount of conscious evil or wrong or harm to people that's what it's what it's all about not relying on on someone on television because I don't care how high you can jump how fast you can run how good you can sing or act or whatever it is that you do because at the end of the day when that child is sick or when they go to sleep or whatever it's other people there and hopefully from that particular and I'm using a euphemism that village that they're in then that's where the role models should come from not from television because the things that you see on television are carefully carefully excuse me carefully <laughs> constructed crafted and scripted to look a certain way so you might be buying into something that's not even real and and not even in, in, in ignoring the things right there that are not so that's uh, that's what I wanted to say you know that it's not about what's going on on television or, or in the, the media or whatever they are all somewhere there's, there's a positive example or a role model you know that that can be sought or found you know um, and and not dealing with 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 letting a famous person do that for you so I'm gonna go ahead and close on that note so this is the truth will rise I'm signing off and remember it's our people our community and our responsibility wishing everybody peace power and positivity